Hi, I'm Kay Pratt, and we're here at this home inspection today, and I would like to introduce the new buyer. This is Macy, Hello. and this is our home inspector, Jim, with Anasazi Home Inspections. And uh, I'd like to ask a few questions to, to Jim, a little bit about what we're looking for today and uh, how this inspection is going to benefit this, uh, this home buyer. Okay, my primary job is to actually look at the house and find defects. Uh, kind of a strange job to do, but that's what I look for, to, to uh, provide as much disclosure to Macy as I can, M help her make a decision on whether this is the right home for her. Name some of the uh, top most important things that you'll want to look for. Well, the top is usually structural. Make sure that the dwelling is structurally sound. Uh, all of the appliances I check to make sure that they're operating as they should be. That would include the water heater, and the furnace and AC unit. Today we won't be able to look at the air, run the AC because it's too cold. That could damage the compressor if it's too cold outside. The electrical, the plumbing, uh, I will be going up in the attic, haven't done that yet. I've looked at the roof, looked at the outside and made sure that everything was okay out there, which it isn't on this one. <laughs> We've had some hail damage on this house. And we're going to look at that in a minute. We also have some uh, settling issues that I want to ask you about, and uh, we'll talk about that in just a minute. So, Macy, are there any issues uh, about the home inspection that you are most concerned about? Um, well, at first I was concerned about the hail damage, but we all know that's kind of an obvious thing um, that we're going to fix right away. Um, I was more concerned with more things that I wouldn't see, things that I'm not able to see with my eyes, but um, only that's something that a home inspector would find. And so that's why um, I'm glad we're doing this so that I can, you know, find those little things that could be big in the future. Absolutely. Very good. And Jim, can you tell me what important things would be to look for in a good home inspector, a qualified home inspector? Yes, you want someone who has had some experience, whether that's on their own or working with another uh, home inspector for a few years. Um, the experience is important, of course, they have to be licensed here in Oklahoma, so you want to make sure that they're licensed. Uh, the other thing is someone who is going to be detail-oriented, that will take the time to look at the house, look at all of the issues in the house, and record them. As a licensed home inspector, we're required to record everything that we see, and things that we can't see we are required to record those um, and why we can't see them. For example, if I couldn't get into the attic space, I'm required to be in there and look at it and record everything that, uh, that I see. The amount of insulation, the type of uh, roof framing. But if I can't get in there, I have to record why I couldn't get in there. Maybe the access was blocked, Perhaps there were ducts that I couldn't get around or over, so I need to record that to let you know why I couldn't get in there. Uh, the other thing about a home inspector is someone that uh, is versed in all of the 10 systems that we look at. We don't want an inspector that comes in and says, oh, well, you probably should get a heat and air guy, probably should get an electrician, get a plumber. Uh, why are you hiring that inspector? They're supposed to be knowledgeable enough to uh, make a, or write down professional opinions about whether something is working correctly or is not working correctly. Uh, a home inspector is going to save you some money. Now most home inspectors are not qualified in making determinations about structural issues. I'm an engineer so I can make those determinations. Uh, but a qualified home inspector will look at it and then re uh, recommend that you get a licensed engineer to come in and look at some structural issues. We do have something that appears to be in this house and we can look at that at the, at the appropriate time. Often when we have home inspections completed, we get a long list of what those repair items might be but those are items that the inspector would recommend having done. doesn't necessarily mean everything has to be done. It just means that uh, all of those items would be items that would be corrected 
according to having this home in perfect working order. Um, some of those issues may not be important to you, but we'll evaluate those once that list comes in. So don't be alarmed okay. when the list is, uh, you know, even a couple of pages. So Jim, what can you tell us about that list? Well, that list will include things that are either health issues or safety issues or um, could lead to material cost. Uh, let's say that uh, there's a, a hole in the wall. That could be rather expensive. It may look cosmetic, but if, it's, if it can't be covered by spackle easily, then it's usually a material cost. And home inspectors go by a state-defined defect, and those include the health and safety uh, material, something that isn't working as it is designed to be working. Uh, for example, if we uh, turn on the oven and the, burn, or the uh, coils don't glow, it's not working as it's designed. So we would record that. A, a, <clears throat> a door that doesn't latch, now that seems like a very small thing, but it isn't working as it's designed. And it is a minor issue. That would go on a repair list. That's for you to decide whether that's important to you. But usually the things that are health and safety or would lead to a considerable expense for you if you didn't have that repaired, those are the items that you'd be one of, you would want to focus on. So I think it's important to know that the home inspector is working for you. The, uh, he's working on behalf of the buyer. So uh, what do you have to say about that? Well, the home inspector should be working for you, the buyer. That's, you are the priority. You're the person that we're working for. I've had other real estate agents that have asked me to downplay things or to not put things on a report so that the deal will close. They're more interested in closing the deal than looking out for the interest of their clients. I don't work that way. You're a priority for me. And so I'm going to let you know everything that I know about that house. A good home inspection usually takes a couple hours and uh, it's very important to be done so that you know when you take possession of this home that it's going to be a, a good home for you to be in. So I appreciate you being proactive in the home that you're purchasing. Thank you for spending your time here today and thank you for all the work you're doing. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it.